seven women have allegedly been murdered in the Ashanti region in the last one year. The latest is the death of a community health nurse at a home in the Ashanti region. This issue has reignited concerns about security in the region. In this edition of News Connect, we speak to residents in Kumasi. My name is Hafiz Tijani and stay tuned for more. I think in relation to this woman being murdered, though it's quite unfortunate, but I think seeing women being vulnerable in relation to the strength of fighting men or these criminals, I think our security officers have to be on board, especially within the communities we have these community police who have been moving around in the night guiding the place i think they need to be equipped because i've learned most of them have rejoined their services just because the little token that they needed to be given to just motivate them has not been given so with this, the absence of these people it makes it very difficult to cope at night, especially when you are a woman and you are working alone. So I'm just pleading with the government and with the community assemblymen and the MPs to work on it, especially most of the places are very dark and working in, uh, in the dark is unsafe. From 2019 to this time, seven women found dead at different places within the Ashanti region. How worrying is it for you? Yes, it is worrying. Actually, it shouldn't be so. Even if it was just a single woman who has been murdered, it was, it's still troubling because no citizen should have that. Okay, No citizen should uh, uh, be endangered that way. I hope you understand. Yeah, so I don't think that uh, it's even an issue of whether it is worrying or not. It's definitely worrying and, and uh, it should be something that we should be working towards uh, eradicating. And I feel, I feel sad that women are mostly uh, the targets of these things. Um, people have been robbed that are not women, they are males. <laughs> They've been robbed before. But when it, it seems that women are more targeted because of the, uh, the social perception of women being uh, weaker uh, in terms of physical strength. Uh, so they are usually easier targets. And it's, it's, it's very sad. It's very sad. I think that... It's not something, most people lay blame at the feet of the police. I don't think it's something that the police alone can. So I don't think any country at all has what it takes to uh, effectively, efficiently police every square inch of, of the, the, the territory. I don't think so. I think uh, we as citizens should take responsibility. Um, for instance, we should find means of um, trying to ensure some sort of um, uh, common sense when we are walking ab about and we should find we should try as much as we can to be better people i've had many incidents of i mean just recently santa and all those things yeah it's a matter of concern for us take off who knows tomorrow it might be my family member so if such cases are on i think it's a matter of concern that the national security should i mean intervene so sometimes it's not about like matter of the issue has happened before we take measures but there's measures in place to prevent all those things from happening actually all these cases from 2019 to this time they are all women what is your mind telling you about this trend oh i see that um, women are the vulnerable people in the society so um, attacking women in the night is very easier than attacking men so um, these let me say this, um, um, those, who are not the, those who want to attack uh, the those people, no? like they would like to be attacked, they, they would like to attack women more than men. Mm -hmm. But for the police, um, instance like this, I think the um, address and some information that needs to be given to the police are hidden in the community by community members. Mm -hmm. So like community members must open up to the police for investigation. Some of us, even if we see a policeman coming, they will start to run away. So I think if that is done, 
we can mostly interact with the police and they shouldn't put fear in their citizens because if a police comes to the house even how the investigation will go it be like the person is shouting and those things those things will not help but like if the, um, the police officer opens up i think information can be given out easily for you this has happened 2019 we had some cases 2020 is just in its second month and we are having two cases already uh, one would say the police is not on top of issues will you agree with people who say that Yes, somehow, because um, most of them are not approachable. So even if you are trying to go to them, you, you are... Who, who, who? Some of the police, they are not approachable. So even if you are trying to go to them, you might have the fear that they will not, you will not get the justice that you are seeking for. So you will be afraid to go to them or something like that. Yeah, so that's what I think. Talking about the national security concern of just recently killing of women and I mean children. It's a matter of concern and I am pleading with the national security and the BBI and the CID that they should work hard like they should put measures in place to prevent all those things and not sit there for certain things to happen before they take I mean steps to minimize it. I think the security agents must um, sit up because most institutions in the country People normally say they are not working, and me too, I agree to that. Because when you go there with such issues, you, you don't normally get the justice that you are seeking for. But yesterday, um, during the town hall meeting, the Ashanti Regional Minister made mention of the investigations being conducted by the police service to look into the matter that happened. I mean, the, the one that recently happened, the next yeah. So I hope it will come out with a, a good result and then those, the corporates will be dealt with. What I would say is about the transparency. We all know how transparent, when someone is transparent, how the person is fair and just. So we want the police to be fair and just and keep on working. We know it's difficult, but with our low level of technology as compared to other countries, um, especially the USA and other foreign countries, um, they should still um, improve on their because I know that and in every year we have been providing them with some service them um, some goods which will help in uh, improving their technology basement so like this will still keep on working and I hope everything will be good as um, we will see and for the, the mat like the, the matters which has been happening in the rest I know by the end of this year um, all, all will be reduced these murders and these uh hideous crimes occur at homogeneous areas. Most of the people, the citizens, they know the people who are culpable, people who are likely to commit these crimes. But when the police are investigating, they all clam up. They, they won't even mention their names to the people. They don't want to be tagged as snitches or liars in the community. And I think that's sad. I think we should all take responsibility as, as, as individuals, as citizens, and try to root out this. It's very sad, honestly. It's very sad. Imagine it's, it's, it's your your relative or somebody, your mother, your sister, who, who, who's, who's um, been hurt or murdered this way, it's, it's unthinkable. This certainly is not a problem for only residents in the Ashanti region, but also the general Ghanaian populace. For many, government must work at safeguarding lives and properties. My name is Hafiz Tijani and this has been News Connect.